hello again welcome back to my youtube channel my name is noye and i'm a nigerian teacher i live and work in lagos nigeria so in today's video i'd like to share what a lot of people asking me to share i've received emails whatsapp direct phone calls from teachers especially in nigeria who have asked me to suggest how they can do their remote teaching slash learning to their children now that everybody has been locked in in lagos state so i'm going to suggest something for somebody who is on number two level on a scale of one to ten in it and that's the option of using whatsapp okay some people are very overwhelmed with the use of google classroom zoom and all that online resources for teaching so i'm going to suggest how you how you can use whatsapp with these very simple tips stick around if you're interested okay very quickly i'd like to say that you do a very short video talking to your children or addressing them and introducing the concepts for example if you need to teach literacy or if you need to teach if you need to teach adjectives in literacy for example it's important that you introduce your you introduce the concept to the children in a small or short video after which I expect that you use instructional materials around you to show your children what these adjectives can to show your children examples of adjectives so you have instructional materials around you if you look at this basket for example you can say it's a brown basket so you can pick up materials around you and then show them or you can have them written down like you would see on the screen and then have them see it or you do a screenshot of what you've written and put it up on screen so that way you've introduced the concept you've shown them examples real examples and then you show them written examples and you've underlined the adjective in that way you're letting them know your expectation for that particular concept when you eventually ask them questions or when you ask them to give you a feedback based on the question that you're going to be asking afterwards so after you've done that i suggest that you set your questions evaluation questions that you would want to set, send to them you set it you maybe write it do a screenshot and then post it or you type it out in the comment section on whatsapp and post it or you can do a screenshot of the textbook that they've taken home showing them the page that you're supposed to work with and then send it to them then you expect that they answer the question and return to you some of them can answer the question and in a in that sentence we could do a screenshot and send it back to you so you give your feedback later after you have marked or you can mark do a screenshot and send back to them so that way you've saved yourself the energy of having to explain to your line manager why you did nothing about online teaching when you should have done something so this simple suggestion would help you so if you are into it savvy this would go a long way to help you to support if the children in the primary school they're obviously going to be working with their parents phone number so you may want to put them in a group but i suggest that when you put them in the group please mute that group so that you don't have people bombarding you with questions that, that are not expected do you understand that or you can send it to them individually you can mute the group so that you would be the only person writing or commenting in the group so if they need to send you anything they send it directly to you or you if, if you're comfortable with that uh, but if you're not if you're not comfortable with having people doing chat back and forth and having parents bombard you with a whole lot and you want to be very professional with your space so i suggest that you do it in such a way that it's only admin that can send messages so when they're done with that task they send the task directly to you so you give the feedback individually to this children so they don't have to keep sending messages differently so if it's something that you want to send as a class you can put it in the group and then everybody gets it that's going to depend a whole lot on you on your school policy on what you want to do on the activity that you would want to send i hope this makes sense i hope it helps help somebody i hope it helps a teacher who is worried i hope it helps a teacher who is not too it savvy but then i suggest that you use this opportunity to learn how to use all the online resources for teaching it's important that you learn that now in this 21st century the world is becoming a global village you already know that and it's very easy for you to learn all of these but if you're so overwhelmed this whatsapp option would help you i hope this video makes a sense to you if it does please give it a thumb up the reason why you're giving it a thumb up is so that more people can watch it 
subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed that way you're making the channel grow but then give it a thumb up your friends will see it other teachers will see it other people would see it and they would connect until i come your way in another video i'd like you to stay blessed and stay safe bye